Well, at a time when incoming college freshmen should feel excited about their next step, many say they're frustrated and stressed out about the financial aid process. The U.S. Department of Education announced next year's FAFSA form will launch two months late, following delays and problems linked to this year's application. And that means some students heading to college for the first time may not have the money to pay for it. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan spoke with experts about the botched rollout and what students can do to make sure their financial aid is secure. We are going to have, by mid-September, students who start to get bills from their institutions without um, any possibility to pay those bills. Financial aid experts like Audrey Fish fear some Jersey College freshmen this fall could find out they're enrolled but with no money for tuition after a glitch-ridden rollout of the new FAFSA or free application for federal student aid. The redesigned forms delivered late and plagued with problems have confused many applicants. So you bang your head against the wall, you give up and you say, well, I hope it's going to work out. And then those students are going to be in for a rude awakening. And what, what are our institutions going to be able to do to support those students? Fish runs the nonprofit More Than Bootstraps, which is proactively reaching out into local communities and has so far steered 1,200 New Jersey students through this year's vexing FAFSA process. They offered help to graduating seniors at three Passaic County high schools for many non-English speaking families, especially those with undocumented relatives, it's intimidating. So Bootstraps enlisted some bilingual college students who had already benefited from their program and could reassure applicants it's confidential. For undocumented people or students, it's probably really hard for them just because of awareness of like what happened to my parents get this information. Like, this is something bad that's going to happen to them because you're putting information for the federal. That's exactly why we're here. We're here to give them communication, be able to explain it to them so that they're not worried, they're not scared to fill this out and help them through all the loopholes that is going on just to fill out the FAFSA. New Jersey received a $100,000 federal grant, part of a nationwide fund to help boost FAFSA applications, which fell by almost 10% statewide during the last school year, many in underserved districts. The new FAFSA form isn't really helping, says Yuritza Gonzalez. So I have a couple of students that, you know, they committed to a school and just two weeks ago received their package and realized, oh, there's no way I can afford this. And it really throws a wrench into their plans and it's really impacting families. Gonzalez founded College Money Chica and notes FAFSA delays have already hit some families hard. There will be students who will get that bill and say, okay, now what am I gonna do? Um, but I think like when organizations like More Than Bootstraps or when community colleges step in, like we can, we can fill that void for students. Rebecca Royals, Dean of Enrollment at Passaic County Community College and says two-year schools offer students a more affordable option. They're also counseling anxious freshmen through this FAFSA process. We could see upwards of maybe 150 students who are seeking some type of assistance and they might not be looking to fill out their application, but they might be looking for a status update, for example, or they need to um, ask those uh, ask questions to tie up some loose ends. Like the NJ.gov link says, it's FAFSA o'clock. You can sign up here for free one-on-one -on -one counseling too. Jersey's FAFSA deadline for state tuition aid grants is September 15th. As for next year's FAFSA, that's also been delayed. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.